So now the first thing we need to do before we can start actually taking off anything is creating a quantification item. And so we do that by going to the item catalog. And again, if you can't see the item catalog under the quantification workbook, you click on this little book and you can turn on the item catalog. So here on the bottom is my tab for the item catalog. And I'm going to, just as an example, take off our, our walls. And so these are going to be brick walls in this case. So that's going to be in Division 4 masonry. So I'm going to click on the group that I want to, to take off to. You can see the Division 4 there. And we're going to make a new item. So I click on New Item. And then it has me, I can put in the name. So I'm going to call this Masonry Wall and hit Enter. And so here on the right of my item catalog of this item, I can put in lots of different information. The name, uh, the work breakdown structure. So you can see it's a 04.1. If I change this to point, or if I just change it to 2000 and hit enter, or click off, you can see whatever it does a point and then whatever that next number is. I can add a little description if I wanted, and then uh, there's some other information down here as well. And working with some small screen real estate, so I apologize if it's a little scrunched. So um, you also have a place here where it can have color and then the opacity, so if it's transparent or not. So I can make this uh, show up as a green color, and I can make it um, only 10% opaque. So you can only see through it just a little bit. And now there's several different ways to take off an item. There's actually three different ways. Um, the first one is to drag and drop. And so um, we want to drag and drop into our takeoff, but you see it, it's not letting me do this. And that's because I'm in the item catalog. Uh, the item catalog only allows you to edit the names, um, to copy and paste items or groups, to create new groups. Uh, you can't perform any takeoff. So um, this is just for editing and moving around kind of the structure of your estimate. For actually adding quantities to your estimate, that needs to be done in the quantification workbook. And so we want to go to that same, so we can see our new masonry wall item. Uh, you can see groups are two pages, items are one page. And so I'm going to try that again where I'm just going to left click and drag a wall from my uh, model straight in. in to the quantification workbook and you notice that it comes up our green color and we have some information here. So I'm going to right click on this detail window and you can choose what columns are visible. Click choose columns and these are some custom columns that I made. Um, we'll get to this later on in the class. I'm just going to turn them off right now so they don't confuse anything. And then you can see that this masonry wall is 20.167 feet long. And it also has an area of 322 feet, square feet. And it has a height as well. So all of this quantity information is there instantly. We have, we know how big that wall is. So the other way to do a takeoff is, um, again, you can drag and drop from the selection tree. So you could drag and drop another item. Um, let's tr drag this same one in. And you notice it says some of these are already taken off. Are you sure? Okay. No, I don't want to take them off then. I don't want to double up that quantity. So it does give you a little warning. So that's the drag and drop method from either the model or the selection tree. 
You can also click on the selection tree or on the model. So you can see that that selected this window, uh, this far wall here. So on either one of these, I, I can click on it and then right click on the item that I want to take off to. So I'll right click on masonry wall and say take off selected model items. You notice that those went green as well. And then I can kind of do the opposite as well. So I've clicked the item in the quantification workbook. And then if I right click on one of these new walls that I want to take off, go to quantification and take off to masonry wall. That's another way to take it off. And of course, I can take off more than one at a time. So if I wanted to left click and then hold down control and click multiple walls, I can right click and take off all of those walls as well. So those are the three main ways to actually take off your model elements.